What is up guys? Welcome back to another week in the life of a reseller. This is honestly gonna be a kind of a bummer video, I'm not gonna lie. If you guys can see, my closet is open. Uh, and we got all the personals on the floor, bro. Let me explain this before the video starts, all right? My idea of having personals in my collection was basically to think of it as a savings account. Just money I wouldn't touch because it was tied in the shoes and if I wanted the money for the shoes, I would have to sell them. Fortunately for me, I picked some good shoes to wear and a lot of them have appreciated up in value. So I will most likely not be losing any money selling all these shoes. Uh, and I still have a few in there. I probably have like six or so in there left, but I'm selling most of the good personals like all mom and years, threes, I hit these for retail, good memories in these. Union 4 Guavas, I picked these up in Denver, Sneaker Con, good memories in these. Alia May Jordan 1s, Shadows. It's, it's tough to let go of this stuff, but you know what they say, if you love something, let it go, and if it comes back to you, it's meant to be. And that's kind of what I'm saying here. Like, if I really want the shoe again in the future, I could just buy it back, no problem. But for right now, I'd rather put that money into other stuff. I'm gonna get into crypto. I wanna learn more about that because I do believe it is the future. And I feel like I would just be setting myself up for failure if I wasn't already learning about that kind of stuff and putting my money into it and just kind of putting my money where my mouth is. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's pretty much why I'm selling the personal collection. Also, I wouldn't advise you to just YOLO all your money into cryptocurrency. Definitely, definitely study up on it. Don't just YOLO all your money into it. I'm only putting around six to 7,000 into it. If I lose it, yes, that will be devastating. But again, it's money at the end of the day. I'm young, I can make it back. But on the other flip side, that could be like 200,000, 500,000 in the matter of three, four years. Like I'm thinking about this in the long run. Maybe eventually we'll get to a point in time where I don't even have to sell my cryptocurrency. I can just use it like it's intended to be. That is why I'm selling my personal collection. Um, so y'all are about to see me at all the sneaker cons and sneaker events in the Birkenstocks, man. We're going back to our humble beginnings in the Birkenstocks. But yeah, that's pretty much why I'm selling my personal collection. Um, with that all being said, let's dive into this video. We have a lot of shoes to clean, guys. We have to clean up every single shoe that I've worn. We're doing a little different today. A few videos back, you guys saw me buy this little baby drill. Um, I went in my garage and picked up the big boy drill. Um, and we have two fat 18 volt lithium batteries. So that should last this whole cleaning session. So hopefully we can knock it out pretty quick. We also have about 30 pairs of shoes to take pictures of today. We're having a story sale tomorrow on my Instagram. If you guys aren't already following the Instagram page, it's up on the screen right here. Thank you, Sheldon. So yeah, with that being said, let's cut to cleaning some shoes. Okay, so this is great. I really wish I did this at first. I'm gonna put the camera down. Watch how crazy this thing goes. And boom, just like that, let me get a little paper towel, wipe it clean. Look at that. It's still a little soapy, but look how clean that got in the matter of like 10 seconds. Dude, I'm gonna save so much time. Oh my gosh, this is great. The wall's getting a little wet, but you know, that's, that, that's never hurt anybody before. But I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. I'm gonna go back to cleaning and I will cut to the next clip. All right, so I just finished cleaning three pairs of shoes. We cleaned the Sean Witherspoon Asics, the Pollens, and one uh, Ali and May Jordan 1. I uh, still have to clean the other one, but we have a meetup to go do right now. Uh, we're picking up four pairs of shoes. I'll wait till I get there before I tell you what they are so I just don't ruin it. So yeah, I'm gonna take the GoPro with me, put on the chest thing, and hopefully we don't get sold fakes. All right, I'm on my way to this meetup, but we're definitely gonna need to go get some gas because we are running on hopes and dreams right now. We are really low. So we get to go play that beautiful price tag of $5.20 a gallon in beautiful California. So you'd love to see that. You know, California is just such a beautiful state. Love it here. All right, it looks like the hopes and dreams work. We made it to the gas station. Now all we have to do is spend $100 and fill our uh, car. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We got gas uh, and lucky for me, I chose a gas station right next to the meetup spot. So it's literally right next door. So uh, I'm gonna go grab the cash and then wait in my car for a homie to pull up. All right, we just got the cash from the bank. The strap is on I and mean, I'm just gonna wait for the bro to pull up. Should be here in like eight minutes or something like that. You just get all your stuff for retail? Nah, I'm not gonna hit I felt that. <laughs> Exactly. All right. 
deal got done. All the shoes are real. Got everything for 800 bucks. I think that's a really good price. So yeah, we're gonna go back home and we're gonna continue cleaning shoes. We're back home and it's time to continue cleaning. We have about two and a half done and I'm getting a phone call. It is my mother. I'm going to enter this call. All right, so like I was saying before I got called, uh, back to cleaning. All right, so it's been about like an hour or two since I started uh, and we're done with all of my personal shoes that have to be cleaned. You guys can see it, very sad, very sad, very sad. Lightning fours, Raging Bull fives, these new Yeezys that came out, all clean. Pine greens, I don't, least, don't even remember if I wore them or not. Neutral gray ones, Amam um, um, and Yers, off-white ones or fours, Asics, ones, more ones, unions, and the other neutral gray. So that is all of my shoes that I'm going to be selling. Very, very sad. Um, but we have three more pairs to clean, but I'm gonna take a break for a minute because my fingertips hurt. And then we're gonna get back to business, all right? We are done. It took us, honestly, I don't remember when I started cleaning, but I just like, I probably like five hours or so, which really didn't feel like five hours. Loki, that went by fast. But uh, all the shoes are clean. All my personals are clean, man. All of them are on the floor. There's some right there. It's sad, man, it really is, but you know, bigger and better things to come next clip you guys are probably gonna see is tomorrow we got a big day tomorrow everything is up for sale in this room well shoe wise yeah everything is going up for sale tomorrow so hopefully we can make some good money tomorrow so yeah i'll see you guys in the morning it is now the next day not the morning it's 12 26 so 26 past the morning all the shoes are all packed up in the boxes ready to be listed it's probably gonna take me several hours to list everything i'm not gonna lie so the next time i pick up this camera i'll let you guys know when i'm done listing everything up on my instagram let's uh let's start because it's gonna take a really long time so all right so it's been about two hours uh since i started posting shoes and i finally finished don't underestimate how long it takes to post shoes i'm not even i didn't even post everything really because i'm saving some stuff for black friday um just toss some steals you know give back but we sold five pairs already four four pairs and there's like f f 25 pending so yeah until i get the payment on those i won't tell you guys but uh here's some things we sold we sold these easy slides uh the pure colorway it's a little hard to open this with one hand um sold these made 40 dollars profit Israel fills making roughly 40 bucks on these some more yeezys these are low-key they've been i've been getting a lot lately i don't know why we sold these lights for another 40 dollars profit and then last but not least we sold these for a 50 dollars profit i have to get back to dms because there's like a thousand people asking me to buy stuff so i will get back to the camera when something sells what is up guys so it is now 7 30 at night and we've sold around 30 shoes today so it's been a super 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 successful day thank you guys so much for shopping with me probably gonna sell a few more by the end of the day waiting for a few more it's the next morning now. I just got out the shower. That clip from last night got cut off. I was in the middle of my sentence and it just stopped recording. So that was sick. And we sold three more pairs of shoes last night. But before I tell you everything that we sold, we need to go get some boxes from Home Depot because we're gonna need a lot of them. We have around 35 packages to go pack up today. Not 35. We sold 35 pairs of shoes. Probably gonna be less boxes. Probably gonna need like 30 boxes or something like that. So yeah, let's go take a fun trip to Home Depot. Come on. All right, we just pulled up to our friendly neighborhood Home Depot. Uh, and you guys already know what we're about to do. So uh, let's go. let's go get those boxes. All right, so so that was a little unfortunate uh they had no small boxes and they had no extra small boxes but i ended up getting a few rolls of brown paper i don't know if you guys can see them back there but we're about to go check out another home depot and i'm crossing my fingers that they have extra small boxes if not i am gonna have to delay everything until tomorrow uh when they get more boxes in because that sucks i know i just i have to switch over to uline but just like my room doesn't have that much space to stack that many boxes in so that's kind of why i buy them as i need them so it doesn't take up as much space as i need so yeah let's go check out another home depot all right so we are at home depot number two Fingers crossed that they have boxes. Let's go see what they have. All right, so with our luck, there was no boxes. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to delay all the packages until Tuesday, which is tomorrow, which really sucks, dude. Like, I can't believe two Home Depots. They don't even have the small boxes here. They only had the heavy duty small, but those were like a dollar and 88 cents each box. And if I have 30 boxes, that's a dollar 88 multiplied by 30. That's $56 just for boxes. So that's a little silly. I just said the word silly, bro. That's a little stupid to pay that much. But, um, so we're just gonna wait until tomorrow. Um, hopefully everybody's understanding. Let's go back home. 
So we are back home now. And since my day was kind of revolving around shipping everything out today, I have nothing to do really. So with all the shoes that we sold yesterday, the personals, I bought the crypto, like I said I was gonna do in the beginning of the video. We have a balance of 3,800 and $49.50. I still have a few more shoes to sell, but if you guys are curious what I bought, I have $2,000 worth of Ethereum, $1,000 worth of Cardano, $700 worth of Crypto.com, and one Solana coin, and $50 worth of Matic. Please do not go out and buy what I just said, because I honestly do not know much about this. I know a decent amount, but I don't want you guys to just go out and buy it just because I said it. Please assess the risk yourself and then make an educated decision on whether you wanna buy it or not. Don't just buy it because someone else did it. I recommend doing that with everything you do. Don't just buy it because someone else said so. Do your own research and then kind of make your own decision. But yeah, that's what I did. Um, I'll do like a little weekly check-in of how we're doing. Like right now, we just went down $12 uh, in the matter of like two seconds, so that's super lit. I spent $300 on boxes earlier. I finally went on Uline. We bought 250 16 by 10 by six boxes. So it was a little bit more than a dollar each because of taxes and shipping. It would have been 74 cents each, which is why I was gonna get it originally. Um, still got it, so I don't have to worry about boxes for a while. And then tomorrow, I'll just go to Home Depot and buy the boxes I need to ship these out. But then after that, I'll be good for like, probably like three months, honestly, maybe two. So yeah, that's what I did. I will pick up the camera again when something interesting happens. All right, we are at Home Depot again. It's the next day and we just need the boxes enough to ship them. We have an absolute ton coming today, but I don't want to wait too long just in case it gets too late and I can't ship them out today. So I'd rather buy the boxes now. So yeah, hopefully they have them again. Well, uh, our luck is beautiful. I managed to pick up a few boxes just for like the bigger orders that I have, like the pairs that people bought, like three pairs or four pairs or five pairs. So I bought a few boxes for that, but they're out of all extra small um i bought a few small boxes my ups app said that i should be getting these those boxes ordered on uline today at 12 and it's 12 20 so hopefully they come soon maybe by the time i get home they'll be there i have no idea but i really really need these boxes to come today it is now four o'clock i was low-key getting a little bit nervous that those boxes would not come today but uh there's one pallet there and there's about seven more in my garage i was not expecting the pile to be that big but it's big yeah we're gonna start packing up these shoes bro this is gonna take me probably at least like two hours and you is close at seven so i'm gonna try to hurry this up so yeah if i don't pick up the camera that much i apologize my main focus right now is getting these out on time all right so i just finished packing took roughly like two hours or so it is 5 30 right now but yeah as you can see there's no boxes in my room because it wouldn't have fit in my room they are all sitting in the hallway out there so i'm gonna go pick up the gopro and we're gonna go load up my car is loaded up i still have three more packages i couldn't fit in here uh because those were all the big ones so i'm just gonna make a second trip and come back for those ones but yeah let's go let's go drop off this first load all right first load out i'm gonna go pick up uh the second one real quick from my house all right second load is secured we're gonna go drop this off and i'm gonna call it a night bro what a day what a day what a day all right let's go drop this off all right and boom just like that today is done i honestly don't know what the game plan is for tomorrow i don't think i'm doing too much because thursday is thanksgiving so i'm probably going to be getting ready for that and stuff like that friday we have a black friday sale haven't spoke about it at all yet but everything basically that i'm having up on sale is going to be uh what i paid for it plus shipping so if i paid 140 for a shoe uh you're probably going to be paying like 155 with shipping just so i don't end up losing like a ton of money but yeah hopefully that is received well i'm looking forward to it a little bit because you guys get a good deal and then i get to clear some inventory and make room for new stuff but yeah that's all really i have planned for the for tomorrow and the next days so yeah i'll pick up the camera again uh, later all right so i'm gonna keep it a stack it's been two days since i recorded nothing happened yesterday and the day before really well not nothing it was thanksgiving and i spent the time with family and i hope you guys did too but yeah today's black friday we're gonna be posting up all these steals today but before i do that i picked up a little shrimp basket type of thing dude this it just i don't know it, look, it, look at that come on are you serious look at that with some with some sauce I'm about to grub. But yeah, after I eat this, we're gonna start posting up some shoes for sale. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat this food. Well, uh, the steals lasted for about three seconds. Uh, we sold some Electro Orange ones for 165, Jordan One Pollens for 170, Raging Bull Fives for I think 160, Worn Once. My Satin Shadows out of my personal collection, I finally sold those. Sold them for 380. Sad times, but that's a steal. Brand new is going for like a grand. 1.1 around there. I mean, to be fair, they are pretty worn, but like 380, that's a steal. And in fact, I literally just got the money for it. So boom, Anthony, if you're watching this, they're going to you, man. So congrats. That shoe was very near and dear to my heart, but not anymore. So yeah, I'm gonna keep posting up some steals every now and then, probably like every hour or so, I'll post up a steal. And then I have a few pieces of clothing that I'm gonna be putting up as well. But yeah, I'm gonna have everything out tomorrow to ship um, and just get everything ready. And then off on a plane they go.
Also, I put more money into crypto this morning. So originally I put like 4,100 in or 4,000 around there. So then yesterday we were doing pretty good. We were all the way up to 4,100, 40, like 41 and a half. Oh, but then yesterday it started tanking a little bit. Uh, lowest peak yesterday was 3,500. So this morning I put in like another 500 and we're back at $4,247. I try not to look at it too much because I'm just, I'm in it for the long run. But yeah, I'm gonna try to do these little updates every now and then um, when I remember and I'll tell you guys what I put into it and if I lost money, if it went up and all stuff like that. I'm trying to get more into the sides of buying smaller tokens too. I have to figure out how to do that. I know you have to go like go through like one of these small like pancake swap or something like that and go through there. But honestly, I'm a little scared to put money in it because if I literally press backspace or put in like a slash somewhere where it's not supposed to be, that money is gone and it is gone forever. Maybe to someone else, maybe to an empty abyss uh, where all the mishandled crypto goes. I have no idea, but that's kind of one of the reasons why I've been a little bit scared to buy some smaller coins and stuff like that smaller projects um but as i learn a little bit more i'll come become more comfortable with it hopefully but yeah i'll keep updating you guys if you want me to if you don't that's tough i'm still gonna do it just because i find it interesting but yeah woo, crypto let's go let's go round of applause for crypto all right back to shoes all right so one of my vip clients actually just pulled up what are you copping today bro absolutely nothing oh yikes Hey, let's have a really inspirational moment, bro. You sit right here. Anything you want to talk about? Hmm? Anything you want to talk about? Yeah. It's, open, it's open mic, bro. That's a nice box, man. How do those work? They fit well? Yeah, they do fit pretty well, bro. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but it's like almost a dollar for each box, so it's not uh, not ideal. Including shipping? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Spotlight's on, bro. If you want to say anything, bro, <clears throat> give this is free promotion time. Huh? I didn't even got to that, but that's okay. Free promotion time. I did hit 2,000 followers, so that was pretty cool. Really? Mm -hmm. You shot it out. Oh, yeah. You, got my you guys hear that? Sheldon, I want you to cut it out and put my at over his mouth. Thanks. All right, man. Well, it's been a pleasure um, having you as a guest here at Sneaker Shopping. Um, you guys can see he came up, pulled up. And drop the bag today, guys. So <laughs> I'm super appreciative. You want to talk about like your newest, your latest like, <clears throat> album that's coming out or anything? Any new project you're working on? I'm just these though. Those are not NFS. Yeah, I'm just in these. NFS, bro. Not for sale. Yeah. My foot is custom molded to that. All right, guys. Thank you for coming to this week's sneaker shopping episode. Make sure to stay stay tuned for his album coming out, dropping soon on all platforms. All right, so I was supposed to end this video yesterday, but I didn't get around to it. So this is what we sold yesterday uh, during Black Friday and a few other things from the days before. But yeah, I'm gonna pack these up. We're gonna go ship them out and we're gonna go end this video. But before that, I'm gonna show you guys a few of the things I sold, some notable mentions. We sold, if you guys know by the box, some white Oreo Jordan 4s on my Instagram for $320. That's a steal. That's all I gotta say, that's a steal. Pollen's most underrated Jordan 1, I think, in my opinion, uh, $170 retail. This was an interesting one. I have had these for six months and I got around to cleaning them a couple weeks ago. Uh, they needed a lace swap, so that's what I did. I put some new laces in them, finally cleaned them, and ended up actually making money on them. I made $55. I don't know why I thought I paid so much more than I did, but I sold them for $171 after shipping on eBay. That was a W. Uh, unexpected W, but a W nonetheless. And yeah, pretty much everything else I sold was a steal as well. So if you ever want some steals, or if you ever just need some regular everyday heat, man, you guys already know what to do. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pack these up real quick and we are going to go to the UPS store. All right, we got one and 10, maybe. I don't know, but we're gonna go drop them off right now, so let's go. All right, just pulled up to UPS. Uh, I'm gonna put the GoPro. just dropped off and now it's time to go home actually no 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 i lied i lied we still have one more package because i forgot i accidentally did it for the post office so let's go drop that one off and we're gonna go end this video then all right last package is dropped off so let's go home 
and we are going to end this video. All right, guys, the time has come. I know you guys don't want me to the video to end. Look, if you have about 70 other videos, you guys can go watch if you guys miss me that bad. Um, but if you guys have watched all those, you're out of luck. You're going to have to wait until a few more days until I post another video. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Whole week in the life. I know you guys have been waiting for it for a while now. So, you know, had to had to give you guys what you wanted. Yeah, if you enjoyed the video, maybe leave a like. If you hated it, uh, leave a dislike. Or comment your thoughts and opinions down below. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. I said, baby, like, whoa, huh. I cannot feel any more. Stuck to these bands like I need me some more, yeah. I have been rolling up Doja. Everything feeling so close. Think that I need me some closure. She trying to pull up to shows. Nigga, I'm counting as dough. Hold up a fold, yeah.